Uh, <coughs> hello my friends and welcome here in my beautiful little DOS room you are in front of an Olivetti M24 and uh, let me show you this area here you can see there is an Olivetti desk synthesis okay designed by Ettore Sozzas everything you see on this um, desk basically was designed by Hettore Sozzas okay Sozzas it was an important uh, architect and designer that worked for Olivetti this is Olivetti synthesis okay Olivetti's pen there's also a fork <laughs> uh, Olivetti and um, uh, manuals uh, mouse pad this is from Logitech my friends and uh, on the top here you can see this picture that I have taken at the museum here in Ivrea this is my friend he lives here this is the project manager of the Olivetti M24 this is the man that created the Olivetti M24 here and uh, I taken this picture close to the M24 of the museum anyway my friends we are here I want to show you how to install uh, an MS-DOS uh, 2.11 3.30 okay on a hold machine like this one now let's go <coughs> turn it on listen to the music of the 80s here I have a screen saver of the Olivetti to my friends okay it takes some second to to uh, recognize the fixed disk this is M24 with the hard disk inside 20 megabytes my friend um, okay come here Okay. Okay. Yesterday I formatted the the, the hard disk. And uh, sorry, my friends. Here we are live. Okay. These are the original uh, installation guide of the M24. Inside there are some utilities um, for the keyboard and etc. That have been inside also the MS DOS 2.11. Okay. This is proprietary of the M24 okay but I want to use this one MS-DOS okay more general uh, this is always from Olivetti but it's MS-DOS okay it's Microsoft DOS <coughs> let me move on here okay inside there is a lot of thing instruction is Italian my friends okay and there are the floppy okay first of all this is uh, MS DOS 3.10 okay it's from 1984 probably okay here okay my friend this is an incredible video I eh? sorry we are live I wanted to do this live so uh, inserting the floppy disk inside the floppy drive and pressing and <coughs> this is the color monitor of the Olivetti M24 uh, 1986 this is the color monitor and I have also the green screen okay now we have booted 8 megahertz my friends incredible machine okay what to do now yesterday I have already formatted the hard disk with a low level format okay this means that I did this C, okay, format C, enter, okay, uh, because it's an old machine, it takes some minute to, to format uh, uh, an hard disk, also if it's very little, 20 megabytes, so I did this yesterday. Now what we have to do is another format, it's a format with the slash, sorry, let me find the slash, yes, slash S, that means 
insert the system files these are necessary to boot in MS-DOS um, no, sorry, don't remember let's, see to, uh, let's uh, go to see if it works also the slash Q that means uh, do that fast, uh, do a fast format okay, basically it's an array let's check uh, if it works <coughs> no, parameter not valid I must remember this is an old DOS uh, let me check uh, slash s slash q separated no still not probably it doesn't like the slash q parameter slash s <coughs> okay probably there's not the slash q <coughs> okay and now it will take some second yeah, yesterday during the low level format I noticed that here in this, uh, in this point there are some bad sectors uh, and well my friends uh, you must know this is very very old <coughs> okay now I check on YouTube to see if there were some uh, video regarding the installation of the uh, MS-DOS on this old machine but I found only fake video sorry, I wanted to try to zoom ah, okay. <coughs> I found only fake videos so I decided to do that by myself for you I, I, I didn't prepare this video, I, I'm doing that for the first time since a lot of years as you have seen I forgot that the, the quick format was not present on the 3.10 MS-DOS I'm doing that in this perfectly moment for you, okay? so in the meantime that uh, that the PC is formatting the hard disk I show you this, this is a smoker made in Italy my friends by Synthesis okay, Olivetti and this is another very beautiful piece of uh, uh, these were from the 70s, early 80s this is basically a desk that you could find in the Olivetti's offices uh, in the 80s, okay. <coughs> this M24 is simply beautiful. Look here, the hard disk. This, this seems new, my friends. It seems new in uh, in 2018. The keyboard is new. I'm using this plastic cover it is new, new, my friend. This is the keyboard that I I like much more. Is the um, is the keyboard one is the IBM compatible keyboard, okay? As you can see. Oh, in the meantime, the formatation is finished with the function case on the left, perfect for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know why I decided to do this video live, but it's only because it's fast. Okay. Uh, yes, there are some sectors uh, damaged here. 21 megabyte my friends okay in this moment we have transferred the system files on the hard disk okay so what we have to do now if I'm not wrong is to copy hello let's go on C ah there is already the command com yes okay now 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 the system can boot now the system can boot MD DOS CD DOS uh, as you can see it's not uh, visible the <coughs> the directory on DOS 3.10 you must write CD to see the path where you are inside copy A 
Uh, now I have to find the the star because uh, <laughs> it's Italian keyboard. Let me check, my friends. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In C. Now, now we copy everything in a DOS directory, and uh, my friends, this is history. It's so beautiful. In 2018, my friends, look here, MS DOS 3.10. The manuals are beautiful. I, I, I read a little bit of the manual before to start the video. <coughs> there is a, a strange edit. It's not the edit that you know on DOS 6.0. 22 starting from DOS 5 there is an edit and it's difficult I've checked on the manual there are all the instructions but I'm not feeling very comfortable oh the auto exec dot but uh, we will move the auto exec dot but and the config dot sees <coughs> in the root my friends my friends, what is another channel that can show you something like this? 1984 with my friends, Gracciotti, the maker, he lives here in my city, he's a 70 years old, Does it? It, it seems younger. My friends, this man in 1983, it was at Cupertino, in the Olivetti factories of Cupertino, making the way of the IBM compatibility making the N24 the first full I not not the first IBM compatible PC because there were some others very close very close but this was the very first full real full IBM compatible okay <coughs> this is the second file and then we will try to to boot so very easy my friends you must take uh, an MS-DOS you boot from the floppy okay then you do don't, don't make a low level format there's no need I did yesterday a low level format because I, I thought to use the quick format but <laughs> it was not working on DOS 3.10 so for that reason I had to use again the low level format with the slash s to insert the system files okay now if we boot i think that the, the pc will boot there are there is no the auto exec dot bat I, I will do <coughs> an auto exec dot bat okay now the floppy a is checking the fixed disk is ready at the very first boot it takes some time to, to find it look here my friends look here look here ah the data what is the day today my friends I don't remember. Antonella! 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 Che giorno è oggi? Che giorno è? Ah, my friends, what, what day? What is the day today? Don't remember. <coughs> oh my god. Wait a second. I want to install the right data. Okay, I found 18 February. <laughs> okay, day 18. Uh, I must answer. Ah, and now. Sorry, my friends, as usual, I must find. Okay, 18 February and 2018. 2018. The, the current data, it was 1 January 1984, my friends! Olive Data not... The data is not correct. It doesn't accept 18. No, oh, please, don't tell me that. What? And the years, only... Oh my god. Let me try with 99. Oh! It doesn't accept more than 99. 
my friends, he doesn't accept more than 99. No! No! <coughs> Unbelievable. Antonella, che ore sono? Yeah. Okay, it's not important the hour at this point. We cannot, uh, we cannot insert the right, um, the right. Uh, okay, uh, probably the inside battery is not working because it's old. But you are listening to the original PC speaker of the of the. Um, uh, sorry of the M24 it, it, it it's a very incredible things because um the the PC speaker inside it, um, after so many years it, it often it's broken while in this M24 I have the original in my other M24 I have another one M24 with two floppies I had to substitute the PC speaker with a new one because the original was 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 not working. Very easy to find broken PC speaker. While in this situation is the original working PC speaker. So at this moment, let me find, let me check if we can do some. Okay, where we are? The keyboard is perfect. It's perfect, my friend. Okay, I didn't prepare a game. Let me find. Let me check. My friends, my friends. Okay, now we are inside games. Let me find if I have some games here. <coughs> easy, easy game to to take to see if if it start. I want to find where is my. Okay, a second, my friends. Here, look here, look here. Floppies, floppies. I had a. Um, Okay, this is the jet pilot test drive. Here there is a sort of. Uh, let me check this floppy. So. <coughs> Sorry, I was not prepared. I was not sure that my installation would work. Uh, this is great. <coughs> Let's see what is this. Ah, uh, it's bootable. It's a bootable floppy if I'm not wrong. Fly Simulator 2.12 bootable floppy. Okay, let, let's try to boot it. Let's try to boot it. Fly simulator. We will see if the color monitor works. <coughs> Otherwise I will have to exchange with the the other one. Okay, let me my friends you are you are as oh, oh. color monitor. This is a color monitor. Uh, let's try. Seems grey anyway. IBM PC type keyboard. Okay. Now it's centered. I s I've seen some colors. No, it's grey. Why you are grey? Let me check another. Maybe. Wow, my friends. <laughs> this is under the phone. Okay. Using the very com comfortable, my friend, the keyboard with the function case on the left. Okay, now look here, look here, the history. <coughs> okay, we are flying, we are flying, gears up, gears up. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I press X here. You can uh, define the the options. Okay. Now we are in uh, demonstration mode, but there is a reality mode that's um, much more difficult. You have to turn on the engine. Very beautiful. I want to exit, and uh, now I don't remember how to exit the game. 
probably I must. Let's try to boot again. I want to see, may maybe it's a problem with the floppy. I will check some other games. Uh, but I don't know where I have put my games. Where are, where you are? Where you are, my friends? I have a lot of games here, where, where they are? I, I, I brought them to the museum, maybe I left them there. <coughs> RGB monitor, let's try with the RGB monitor. I have seen, oh, yes, uh, this is color, this is color, we're gonna fly more. And this is color. Jim, Jim Leonard, my friends, look, this is color. Wow, wow. Sorry, my friends, but I'm turning on it for the first time after 30 years uh, uh, to, to share my emotion. I don't try these things before the video, okay? So I'm doing all live. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, my friends. I I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm simply crying. Sorry, my friends. I'm simply crying. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. What? Well, what? Well, well, M24, the first full IBM compatible computer. My friends, my friend Sandro Graciotti, the greatest. <coughs> what to say? Nothing. What to say? The PC speaker is a little low volume, but it's the original. Wow, but it's so beautiful with colors. My friends, we are in the 1985. We are in the 1984. <coughs> 1984. And, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look, this is simply beautiful. I, I used to play this game more with the green screen in my father's laboratory. And I remember how many times I went to crash against that building. Here we are in Chicago, if I'm not wrong. Uh, how many times I taken off and crash against that building? What a video! What a live video! So beautiful! So beautiful! Okay, the, the, the keyboard answer in a way that's simply amazing. It's simply amazing. Well, my friends, I, did, I, uh, I told you several times, this guy founded also the Logitech with other three persons two Italians and a Switzerland, eh? okay, the Logitech was founded here in Ivrea under the name of Polytech. Then they decided to found uh, other two societies, consultant societies, also in Switzerland and in USA, Palo Alto. The one in Switzerland, in Lausanne, uh, Lausanne didn't accept the name Polytech because it was too similar to the Polytechnic okay of the city so that they had to change the name from Polytech to Logitech okay and the, uh, that's the moment in which the Logitech was born then Sandro in 1983 has left the Logitech to return to Olivetti to create the M24 okay a very beautiful thing is that uh, their friends of the Logitech was commanded to create the mouse of the Olivetti M24 here. It's a Logi mouse, Logitech, from Logitech. This is the real history. You will not find this on the internet because this is history of the past and sometimes some, some, some informations are missed. Anyway, Sandro Graciotti, Zappa Costa, Marini and the Switzerland man was bothered. These are the founders of the Logitech. In 1981 it was a simple consultant society that worked for big societies like Olivetti. They were working for them. Okay. Then uh, Sandro in 1983 left the Logitech to go to Olivetti again. He was an Olivetti employer. Wow, nothing my friends, sorry. Uh, see you again. I'm very satisfied, 24-25 minutes but 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 this is a very important video my friends this is a very important video return here look here what a position all from Olivetti all from Olivetti
Thank you, my friends. I love you. And the PC is working very, very, very fine. Very, very, very fine with those 3.10 inside. <coughs> Bye, my friends. I love you. Bye, my friends. I love you.